something so good, do you tell the world about it or do you keep it a secret? Well, that's what happens to a lot of Grob customers because their machines, there's over 500 spindles here in the UK and we don't know enough about them. It's an incredible number, 500 machines or 500 spindles uh, similar in, in vain to this. I mean, I can understand why by looking at the machines now. This is one of the first times I've actually reviewed a, a Grob machine, and this is the 550T here at Seco Tools. And this particular model that we're going to talk to you about over the next few minutes is available here from stock. So the machine's been here about two years and it's ready now for a new home. Now, why would you be interested in a machine like this then, Lindsay? From your well, opinion? I have never seen you so excited over a machine, and it's the technology, it's about machining differently. I mean, just just look at this, I've never seen a table. It spins, but then it flips upside down. It, it's wow. quite clear that when this machine was designed, the designers were thinking really outside of the box, weren't they? Thinking outside of the, of the general machine tool envelope. I mean, look at the, as you can see, the spindles coming out here. They've got this tunnel concept. Basically, um, the, the spindle there with the tunnel concept, it's got fixed rails and moving shoes. So wherever you are machining on that table, which is now inverting, um, you are guaranteed maximum stability across the working envelope which a lot of machines cannot offer because of the way they are configured. Right and the size of this let's go down here because this is a big machine Paul it, I mean as soon as I saw this I was like there's your working envelope so why is it so big the machine? On first glance you look at the footprint and you actually think it's big but then when you actually think about maybe a horizontal machine in centre other big five axis machines that offer similar to this a meter in the y axis for example mm. then you are going to be needing or having a big footprint. Now the great thing about the Grob machine here is everything is all the accessories are enclosed so yeah. what you see there's nothing overhanging there's nothing else um, you know, it, it is essentially a rectangle here and everything is within the four, uh, the four walls of the machine. Now interesting here, the tool changer, you can't see the tool changer, but it's actually housed uh, inside the machine, 72 tools, double disc, one on top of the other, and when you're loading the tools, you do them through this door here. Also interesting to point out is that the, the way the Grob machines are made, um, they were born out of the automotive industry, very okay. successful in the automotive sector, and they, they earned their, their spurs in that arena. And basically, if you can crack it there, you know you're going to be able to move into other sectors, which they've done. And some of those other sectors have been extremely interested in the machine because of the way, regula the, way the regulations are away around how they build them. For example, they have a wet area and a dry area on this yep. machine. One side is wet and one side is dry. So one side is for all the electronics and everything like that, and the other side is hydraulics and coolant. And for certain industries, um, you know, let's, let's take the MOD, for example, um, different, different sectors, they may require things like that, or those things may be an advantage to them when they're procuring a machine. And delivery of this machine comes all in one, as we mentioned. So I guess it kind of hides the extras because it's all included. It does. And, and it keeps it, crazy as it sounds, it keeps it neat and tidy as well. And bearing in mind, this is the 550. OK, there is, there is a bigger machine than this as well. But then you've got the 350, which is slightly smaller. Then you've got the new 150, which is smaller. Again, a new machine that was launched just a couple of months ago, which is perfect for um, maybe different areas of industry to this the medical industry, yep. smaller components, where now we've got the door open here, you can <laughs> truly sorry. see, you can truly see not just the accessibility, but how this machine concept is very different. And you can, this is a perfect way of just showing how the, the part secured there and the swarf will fall into the, um, into the swarf conveyor. Now, a, another point on the machine, when you do an aluminium machine, and if you were on this, Grob do things like the kind of production packages where the swarf conveyors will go faster, you know, there's things that they add to the machine in order to cope with the applications. Yeah, exactly. That you're doing. There's actually um, a little kind of train going around the bottom, and that's actually all to do with thermal compensation and keeping the heat and all the temperature right within within the machine. Little extras like this add to it. You know, add to how high of a technology this machine is. I, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, it, it is an unbelievable piece of kit, and I think when you look at the tunnel, you look at the spindle now buried away in the tunnel you can think to yourself, okay, well, if I had a very long drill, if yep. I had a very long tool, it's gonna retract. I, can, I can retract the spindle inside the tunnel, um, which means then that, you know, I'm not worrying about collision, I'm not worried about my tools being too big, not having a big enough working envelope in order to be able to, you know, do deeper hole drilling, for example. You know, you can do that with this machine. The fact that the door opens up here means that you can also crane components in, which you probably might need to if you're working in the mold and die sector. Yeah. 
And that is another point I wanted to make. If, if these machines are popular in the mold and dye industry, and when they can machine upside down, like for example that they can do here or mm. inverted, it means that because the swarf is falling away, when you're machining with the spindle, you're not getting any sort of contamination from the swarf, which can affect the surfaces of molds. And it protects your critical. tools. It protects, protects your the tools. tools. Because you can actually get these to, to maximum negative angles as well, there's no restriction there. It also means that you can position the machine to the best angle to machine the part. And that means that you'll get better tool life, less tool wear. One of their customers saved thousands of pounds over the course of a year thanks to the um, enhanced tool wear because of this configuration. And of course, this one turns up to 1,000 RPM. And no, and you can totally understand why people are trying to keep this as a secret so their competitors don't have it as well. Plus, you've got the control panel. It looks a little bit different, actually, to normal control panels it's, that it's we a, see. It's a Grob 4 Pilot. It's, it's one of the, the points that they find that this control is... Um, They've made it very, very conversational. It's a touch screen, lots of cycles within the control that make it easy for the operator to get to grips with. Now, of course, most of these machines you're going to program with something like Hypermill from Open Mind, um, regardless of whether you're doing full five axis or five face machining, you're going to probably use a cam system. But what you also do need with a system like this is the monitorization. You need to know that this machine is performing to the way it should. Yep. You, need, you need to know that, that every aspect of the machine, mechanically and electronically, is, um, you know, is serviced to the degree to be able to make the parts successfully. And if there is a problem, you can remotely, it can be remotely diagnosed from Grob as to if there is potentially any issues. Before I ask you anything else and any other features, I do know that a lot of customers, are slim times or potential customers, are overwhelmed by this technology. And the answer from Grob, they say, just speak to us, just talk to us. Because once you get talking to us, you kind of go on to another level of technology but actually, it's not out of the price range that I, you might you know, yeah. think. And I mean, there is not just this machine at the moment. Before the end of December 2020, there's several machines available from Grob in Germany that are available from stock. I mean, it's a company that employs over 7,000 people worldwide. Um, you know, German-built machines, everything you would expect from that is here, uh, you know, on show at Seco Tools and for sale.